Siegel here with John Ng, our traditionally last day of high tech as we do our video, Siegel says, um, for uh, on the floor of high tech. Before we start, I think it'd be kind of fun to share with the people who are watching, for those of you who are watching this video, uh, I'm sure many of you have been, were at high tech, and many of you were not at high tech. So I'm giving you a few highlights of the week here in uh, Baltimore. First of all, weather. I got to tell you, um, the days before um, high tech started, it was unbelievably hot. And for those of us who were at high tech uh, in 1997, remember the record 106 degrees. But the heat wave left on Saturday, and Sunday, everybody arrived for high tech, and it was a classic Baltimore summer. Warm days, cool nights, and with all the events that were outdoors this week, at night, it was wonderful. Now, that was the positive thing. The weather this year uh, at Baltimore was fabulous. But I would say one of the negative things that we heard on the floor had nothing to do with high tech, but the city of Baltimore was jammed to the gills and all the rooms were sold. And one or two hotels got a little bit overbooked. How funny was it that they were walking hoteliers uh, to places outside Baltimore to find rooms from this week? But we all survived. And those of us that got rooms downtown Baltimore truly fell in love with the city this week. It has been a great, great event. So I'm here with John, who's going to do his traditional tell us what you experienced this week on the floor of high tech. So um, first of all, was there anything that just stood out to you this year? Or what's, what's your feel for this uh, high tech this year? I think this, this year, uh, the energy level was much higher than it has been the last couple of years. We've had uh, a, a lot of recovery in the industry. Uh, vendors have been investing their time in, 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 in building up their enhancements and developing new ones. And it's really showing in the product mix we have here. There's, uh, I think the attendance may be up. I'm not sure if the numbers are up. It was actually at 5,200 this year, 52. which is one of the highest numbers they've had. That's in great. Quite a That's few great. Years. But I also hear that a lot more senior people than usual, which mm -hmm. is intent of in, uh, reasons to buy new system. People are looking seriously right. for stuff. And what I was pleased to see is a great deal more maturity, in, in particularly on the mobile side. Mobile has been on everybody's lips for a while. Right. This is probably the third year of the tablet. Mm -hmm. Every, this is, everybody's going to have a tablet app. But wait, it, weren't there less um, raffles this year for winning yes, an iPad? <laughs> thank yes, God for really, that. Well, you can say thank God. I haven't won one yet. I was hoping there'd be more. Um, you could buy one, John. I, uh, <laughs> But it seems like in previous years, people have been saying, hey, we have a tablet. This year, it's like, well, of course we have a tablet. That's what people are using. And not only do we have a tablet, this is what you use it for in this environment. This is what you use it for here. Here's the data we put on it for this particular purpose. Here's something different we do with it over here. Um, that, that in itself is maturity, and it's an accepted part of the infrastructure now. But it's also more of the uh, adoption of the guest iPad. I've seen a lot of apps that you can download onto guest devices for controlling in-room technology, making right. their own reservations, finding local stuff. It's just such an accepted part of, of what we are doing here now. It's just another factor that you have to take into account when developing systems. And people are doing it pretty well. Right. You, you know, the, the mobile apps, you know, for years now, quite a recent few years, you know, it's been emerging, emerging, emerging. Do you think it's at a point where it's actually going to be accepted and the hotel industry will actually embrace it and invest in it? And, uh... I, I think unquestionably people have. It's a question of, of it's never going to stop emerging. Mm -hmm. It's going to be so much more development in, in the uses you can put this to, mostly with integration between systems. Right. There's still a lot of separate apps from different people for different specific purposes. And I'm seeing a lot more integration of, of or cross from pollination from one system to the other. Uh, multiple systems doing different aspects aspects of things that used to be somebody else's uh, purview. And, and I think there's going to be some very interesting fallout as people's apps overlap a lot more and, and ven both vendors and users decide which ones are real winners here. Right. And it's, a lot of it comes down to, uh, as I've mentioned before, user interface design. It's got to be a useful subset of data in an appealing form factor and then things will take off. Hey, before we go on to the exhibit hall and then some of the vendors you'd see and some of the technology, um, did you get a chance to do some of the educational sessions this year? And um, did you find them valuable? I, I thought the few that I went to were great. Um, so, but I thought the one you ran was great. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. For, that was actually it, it was good. It, yeah. it did work very well. Thank yes. you. Nice plug, John. Okay. Um, did, any other, did anything else that you kind of uh, you know? 
found value in or, you know. Uh, oddly enough, one of the first ones I went to was the, the marathon session on Monday on selecting a system, how to select a system. And I've been advising people on and doing this for years. Right. And I learned things from that, um, from a very long, detailed and well thought out session. So that was that was definitely worth going to. Yeah. Did you like Gary Loveman uh, on the opening? Um? I, unfortunately, I missed that. Uh, okay. I will tell you, it was he was great. He really yeah. was. That whole right. Harris story or Caesars now and all that. Uh, he did a great job. Yeah, I thought the sessions this year were the ones that I did, was able to attend really were, um, were strong. Yeah, you know, the, the, the professional hacker, of course. Yeah, the hacker was great, man. It's kind of scary, though. I mean, yeah, yeah, I went back to my hotel room and thought, why am I putting my, my laptop in my safe anymore <laughs> if you can open it with a paperclip? Yeah. Um, as you walk through the exhibit halls uh, today, um, the last few days, uh, you know, I think there were a lot of first time exhibitors here this year, way more so than in mm-hmm. the past and all that. And, you know, you go to the back or go to the sides, you see the small 10 by 10s. Mm-hmm. It's kind of cool to see some of the stuff that's truly emerging, not mainstream yet mm-hmm. and all. And um, have you had any chance to? Any of the non-mainstream technology that caught your eye this week? <laughs> well, the one thing that definitely caught my eye were the jackets being worn by the salespeople on the in-road booth. <laughs> Probably the loudest thing on the floor. Um, but in terms of, of vendors, uh, there, there were some interesting smaller guys. There always are. Mm-hmm. But um, interesting enough, they were also in the, more in the middle aisles, too. Some of the, right. the smaller booths there mm-hmm. had some vendors uh, first time in the States, mm-hmm. let alone at high tech, um, right. with some very interesting stuff coming out. Uh, some of which I'll be taking a look at later. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. You know, it's uh, there were a lot of people here from outside the U.S. this year too, as far as the vendors Very much go. so. And, yeah. uh, you, know, you talk to them; they'll tell you the market. They're aware that the market here is is getting stronger. There's more investment going on, mm-hmm. and so even though they're traditionally European or Asian companies, they're here in the U.S. marketplace. I thought that was pretty interesting too to see so many of them. Yeah, yes, it is. I know there's it, it's an international marketplace. Certainly, the right. U.S. is. is probably leading it because there's so much development here and because it's one of the few economies that seems to be coming back strongly other than you know the the, the general growth in, in China and India for example right. um, but you're right there's a lot of Europeans a lot of Asians here mm-hmm. looking around and seeing what's available including Asian companies looking to get into the US yes, market that, that's, uh, which was uh, re- really interesting yeah, yeah. Um, so other than the mobile technologies or anything else to kind of um, I know you're gonna be looking around the rest of the day today and all that so was still got my running shoes on <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the floor was big this year. It's so, a big I floor. Mean, it is. Um, it it and, was. And, uh, and, you know, I've been, I've been walking the floor three days, and I still haven't seen everything that I want oh, to see. Oh, you never do. That I want to meet right. and all that. Too. This is just, I say this is the 40th high tech. Yeah. If my feet feel like I've been walking every one of them. <laughs> so, what was your feeling on Baltimore? Um, very relieved. <laughs> Having been here before the last, the last time when it was so hot and humid, I know. It was uh, yeah, it was it was fun. It was yeah, it was much uh, much more pleasant to walk around outside okay. than it was last time. But uh, nice to go to the, the uh, game on Tuesday night. Did you go? I did. Yeah. I left before the end, so. All right. You know, it's pretty amazing. I mean, people have remembered in Baltimore, all the hotels here, the convention center, all in this area, and both ballparks are literally right there, right there, it's, it's, yards it's, away. It's a great location for yeah, that, and for, for the Inner Harbor there. Yep. Uh, it's 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 a very appealing place. Mm-hmm. Part of the town to be in. One thing you were talking about the uh, the early session and what I saw on the floor. Um I was very pleased with the response of some of the vendors here. And I don't know if you remember in that early session, you asked what piece of guest room equipment would I like to see coming down the pike. And, and I said I wanted what I wanted was a, a gesture controlled TV, so I didn't have to touch the remote, and I wanted one with a camera so right. that I could do video chats with my family from the, the guest room. Right. I said, fine. So I walk into the guest room 20X exhibit, and the first thing I see is a Samsung TV, which has both of those features on it. But mm-hmm. That's fast response. Yeah, <laughs> that was good. In fact, that, that guest Stream 20X, um, I thought it, they did a great, great job this year. Yeah, they really there's some very good things. That TV was pretty funny, you know, right. it was like high TV, um, football or something, and then all of a sudden it just writes the channel. Or t- it was amazing, it really yeah, was. Yeah, I was very pleased to see how it works. Yeah. Although I can see m- multiple people watching the same TV trying to grab the gesture control and change channels mm-hmm. on each other. Yeah. So that'd be fun. Um, but hopefully HFTP has um, done a recording there of uh, Guest Room 20X, we can see it on their website. I, I hope so, too. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I thought one other part of, one other exhibit they had there I thought was rather like uh, torture. They have this wonderfully luxurious massage chair, which is tempting people to just sit down in it and spend the rest of the afternoon there. But you can't do that. You have to yeah. be out on the floor. Okay. There is so I much, did. so much to see. Um, I sat in the chair and I laid in the bed in guest room 20x. And just it was and, hard and to you get got up. up. 
<laughs> but, um, so is there anything you want to leave our um, viewers with as far as, um, you know, as you reflect on this year's high tech? Uh, only that I think that the next few months, or the, the time between now and next year's high tech is going to be really interesting because there's so much new development, there's so much cross-fertilization going on between applications. There's There's been some mergers between companies, some yeah. new companies coming in, and I think we're going to see some more mergers as, as people realize the apps are overlapping and more convergence around some real core ones to do it really well. So I, I'm really looking forward to what's coming down the pike and seeing what we talk about next year. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for uh, lending your expertise on uh, sharing with us your expertise. Congratulations on, on 20 years of uh, hospitality. Th thank you. We've had, and uh, hopefully on the website, by the time people are seeing this, they're going to see our video with our 20 year celebration and all. It was, it was pretty fun doing those videos. So. Oh, I'm looking forward to reading what everybody else said. <laughs> No doubt about it. Well, here we are on the uh, for another year. I don't know what is like our fifth, eighth year doing this. Who knows what? And uh, it's always fun to do on the last day, sitting here with John Ng uh, and asking you his input, uh, um, his thoughts on this year's high tech. Thank you very much for watching, uh, and hope we see you in Minneapolis next year instead of watching you watch us on video. Thank you. Thanks, Rich. You're welcome.